We're well, live. We're, we're live. wondering if we're going to stay live. 11.05? We're live at 11.05. Or if it was Monty Python, no, for something completely different. Not for something completely different. <laughs> Which um, we're going to show you're working on your shroud, but it's over in Eddie's area. and uh, Right. So we can't show the whole thing. So we can't really show the whole thing. The tip of the day. Give me a tip of the day here. And this isn't your the, tip. Well, the tip of the day is, you know, to get your tap started straight. And uh, I was doing this in the vice over there. Make sure you're using plenty of oil. And you just want to feel that tap. I mean, you're going to get started. It's going to. It's not going to want to start necessarily straight. So you got to make sure you're going straight. And it's going to want to bind. You're going to want to back it up. Keep going back and forth. Get the, that debris out of there. And that way you're going to create a good clean hole. Okay. You know. So, and so the the reason this came up is he came and showed me the the tap with the broken teeth on it and. Right. We have a new guy that didn't have that concept. Right. And I so didn't. he he threw him under the bus and said, "I didn't break it. I didn't break. I didn't. <laughs> so, I didn't. But yeah. that, that I mean, what you said is make sure that you got the right size hole drill, and make sure the cap started straight. Yeah. And make sure you use oil, and don't just crank it all the way in unless you've got a type of tap where it's on a machine and it can go right through. But right. when you're doing it by hand like this with the taps you'll buy at a at a Lowe's or a you know, the parts store or whatever. Yep, you can Crank it, it in a few, feel it get tight, back it out, and there you go. And what we're building this thing for a shroud. It, yeah, I made a, a little pattern here. I doubt if you can really see it. Um, but I made a pattern so that I could actually, that, that actually has the tap size hole in it. So I used it as a transfer pattern. So let's just go over here so, real quick. We don't have, have the shroud here. You left this part in that easy. I so left we got, it got a little bit of shroud, and it's... Right, it's it's got double. good on there. Cut it a little bit. I'm gonna put this on it. Yep, it's got double. The, the shroud has double holes. So what we're doing is we're we're built we're building these tapped brackets, and and the upper hole will be screwed in, and then the bottom hole will be tapped put that. And, for that. And, and shroud, that we're gonna actually tack the shroud onto it. Yep, we're gonna weld and the it's shroud. gonna be all nice and clean. Even though this gets a grill shell, yep. um, we're there. So. Enough of that. This is, this is part two of our two-parter from yesterday. The reason we cut the tunnel out. The reason we, and we cut the tunnel out, and, and a lot of folks are watching this. Well, why don't you go on this side over here? You can go in. Mm -hmm. You can go over on this side. Oh. Or you can be right there. That's good. Why don't you hop in? Yeah, hop in. Let's see how graceful you are. Well, remember, I hurt my knee. knee. Okay, we'll pull so, the knee out. I got to pull the knee in. And the seat's not fastened, but we're close. So we got the seat sitting there. The column will actually come up about, yay. Yeah, up about here. And if you look at where that pedal is now, we can actually put, and I was going to, 1105 kind of showed up quick on us today. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'll weld a nut on this side, and the, the pad itself actually has an offset, so we can tighten that down, get the pad over to this side a little bit, and uh, put a jam nut on it to hold it in place. I mean, yep. by the time and we put, can, yeah, we're, we're talking, that's comfortable. Yeah, that's very comfortable. We're right foot breaking. And you're, you're almost yeah. just, everything's on your heel. I mean, so you're not going to have to lift up your leg because it looks like you're kind of an old guy with bad knees already. I'm an old guy with bad so, knees. So right. you don't have to. And I aggravated it yesterday. So. so that was not easy for me to get in, but typically it's not that hard to get in here. And it was just, just, a, just a few minor changes. We don't have too much time in it. The bottom will look very clean when we turn it over. It already does. It's been cut out a little bit. And, um, once we finish up the top of the tunnel here and got with Eddie, the upholstery guy, and he's he's pretty happy, and yep. I'm pretty happy. You're pretty happy. We're all pretty happy. Yep. Well, I, I bent and put an offset into the brake pedal, and uh, so I offset it enough. I probably offset it about that much. It would have came out on on the left side of the column. It would have came out on the left side, and then we were a little concerned where it popped up through the the floor, um, but not really. We just stuck it through the floor. It happened to work out perfect. Mm -hmm. But I was worried about my offset. If I would have had to cut the brake pedal and lengthen the pedal a little bit to get it higher, or change the angle of the let's pull this out of here, change the angle of the arm, that would have been good. Um, this has got power brakes, which is, we were talking about, is there, is there not going to be enough vacuum? There should be. Right. That's so. the only, that's the only vacuum item we're going to run on the car. Uh -huh. So. 
and uh, we shouldn't need a can or anything. And and leverage too is a big deal. So if you got just standard brakes, the leverage on your brake pedal, and where it goes from the pivot to where it's it's huge, huge. deal, huge. It could make it twice as hard or half as easy. So we've moved ahead. We're we, good. Yeah, we're ready to come back off the frame. Go upside down. Now something. Why don't you hop out here for a second? Okay. This is this is almost this is not reality, but it's reality. I mean, it's real. You're, we're live. Say hi. Yeah, it's real. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Yeah. If you're watching, mom's in Florida. I don't know if she's watching. I haven't. So anyway. I'm starting to hear now that there's relationships getting built with, I mean, just people that are watching live at 11.05, they will watch, you know, and it's yeah. like you become involved, obviously, and obviously people watch this some because they come into the shop and, you know, you may be watching me, but I can't see you on that side, so they'll come in and recognize and, oh, you did the thing. But but you actually got to meet people from the message board there and another oh, fellow Iowan or... Absolutely, yeah. Tom Krause watches the show. Quite a bit. So you, you say know. hi to Tom. Hi hey, Tom. Tom. How you doing? I'm sure he's watching. <laughs> yeah, sure he's yeah, he already he already posted. Make sure you buy good taps. <laughs> yeah. Well, sure you buy, that's, that's true. Huge. That is true. That's huge. Make, make sure, sure you, you buy, buy good, good taps. taps. That's true. Um, yeah. If you're going to use them a lot, I mean, if it's a one time, then you can throw it away. Weigh the cost on the, the price and stuff of that. Yeah. Stuff. Well, that particular case, a quarter twenty, you're going to probably use that a lot. Yeah. So in reality, I mean, here's the real thing, since. We take kind of a risk doing this every day, because I mean, you've got your car here. People got their car here, I'm, and we have had. Uh, the reality is, we've had some employee lack of, not enough. There's not enough yeah. good AB players out there to go around. I don't think. So we're pushing everybody ahead and trying to do it. And all I can say is, I wish we had AB players like you here. I mean. <laughs> Working well, with you has been you. fun. I mean, it's yeah. just like I can come over and go, eh, eh, let's do this, or and then make change here, and and we talk about it, and just like the little piece we tapped, we talked about, well, we could weld an aluminum nut. There is no, why would you do that? There's none, or we could melt a big chunk of aluminum, right, right, and tap it into there, or like you came up with the idea, we'll take a piece of steel, and we'll screw it onto, the, you know, bolt it on, and the issue is when we bolt that fan on, we don't want the nut to come off. Because we won't be able to get out the back. Right, right. So a little bit of a discussion, and there it is. And you come up with it. Sure. Same with this. A little bit of a discussion, cut, whack, do. Right. Come up with it. Talk about it a little bit. You want it to be a driver. Next thing you know, I'm working on the shroud, and he's got the whole floor cut out. So. No, but that was good. That was good. It real good. Ab so, absolutely real good. The reality is, you see, I'm, I'm. Normally, I'm just kind of the guy leading, saying, "Come on, come on, we're so busy here." You, you I, am are I am behind the pile right now. Definitely I busy. am driving the I am driving right. the train, and I'm trying to, every day. I've got about five projects. I'd like to try to get a little bit on every day and push this forward. But uh, the good news is, I'm excited. I'm, we've we've uh, added some extremely talented uh, folks to the team. Yes, you have. We, we already have some talented people. Here. Absolutely, you do. And uh, in today's world, um, the good guys was here. I. Uh, I reminded the guys, and I reminded them again today that uh, from the fiberglass shop, they may have kind of a dirty job over there, and it's not very glamorous on that side. But what's underneath all this? The start of the thing, from start to finish, it's about attention to detail. It, yes. And especially in today's hot rod world, um, where it's a lot more higher quality products than it was just even 10 years ago or 20 years ago, especially. So. This one's taking everything good and taking a little bit farther. So yeah, it's really coming to shape. I have enjoyed this. You're, you're here till tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, and I may stay okay. Saturday. We'll see. We're going to convince yeah. you we're we're doing a crawfish bowl in the house well, that's Saturday. That's part of the reason I might okay. stay Saturday. And our Australian friends, you know, I, I said we're doing that, and they were just shocked. Did you hear him talk about how I, that's a delicacy over there? I didn't hear him. Uh -uh. He said how expensive only rich people get to eat crawfish. Oh, is that right? Oh, <laughs> around States. here it's three bucks a pound. <laughs> <laughs> around here it's like you're eating what? Uh, uh, yeah, you must be from Louisiana or something. <laughs> so that's a big thing at the. So hopefully you can stay. Although I'm yeah. kicking, Ann is kicking you out tonight, tomorrow. 
Tonight you can stay. Tomorrow Tonight, you're kicked right. out. Right. Yep. That's no we problem. We got family coming in for the weekend. Absolutely. So. Anyway, I appreciate the hospitality. Let's get us. You want to read today, or you want me to read? You want to pick one? Uh, yeah. Either way. Whichever way. You got it. Yeah, he can pick it. You got it. I got it. What do we got here? If smaller and smaller can go on to infinity, how big are we really? <laughs> We're not very big. And this is the perfect one for you because you are taking, okay, now we've got everything to this small of a detail. Yeah. All right, now I'll take that and go again and then go again. So we've taken attention to detail. It's about the small things. It's whoever's faithful and little is faithful in a lot. So if you ever get to see this car in person, find a flaw and point it out to Larry. <laughs> Thanks. What or the heck were you thinking? Thanks. <laughs> or if you see this car... Make him an offer. Yeah, make Oh, that's right. We're selling this car. This yeah. car is for sale. No, we're not selling uh, the car. Starting to bid at twenty thousand. No, we're not. You know, no, I'm sure we can get a twenty thousand no, dollar bid. I'll bid not. twenty thousand. All right. No, yeah. we're not starting. I bid. will. No. <laughs> Seriously. Twenty thousand. So you want me to lose money just selling to you? I'm a nice guy and everything. So that would be no. No, oh, that's no. definitely okay. no. All right, so that's you're going to have to go above 20000 for the next bit. We're going to go. we got our friends from Australia okay. here. We'll let Larry stay at work, and we'll leave this book here with you. Here you go. All right. So, hey, Pop, bifocals. 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 Okay, Rob has been working on, on this car he sold to be a turnkey, and it looks like he's still working away. This is my new, my new friend, Rob. Oh, how do you say down in Australia? What, what's uh, your friends, your buddies, or? It's something. Same friends, buddies. Friend. What's a bloke? Uh, what's a bloke? Is that English? Uh, mate. 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 That's right. Mate. mate. So mates are good. Yeah, mates are good. So mates are good buddy. So in spirit, we say we have. Uh, we don't have customers here. We have friends and family. That's it. So that's, our customers are generally friends and family. We hope that that's what it turns into. So uh, spirit Australia here and spirit. USA, and again, I just just bragging on Larry. Pleasure to work with somebody where you can just kind of work and share ideas, and it gets advanced and pushed ahead. You're doing a great job here. It's been we're, excellent. We talked about, uh, and this is a sold car, so we we're talking about motor and trans. This thing maybe I put it on wheels and tires, and this may by the time you get home, it may be driving. We got till tomorrow at eight o'clock, and the container shows up. Yes. Yeah, Looking a lot better than it was yesterday. Obviously, uh, we're held up by the pure time of the special bonding material, but yeah, it's looking a lot better than it did yesterday. So, if you weren't watching yesterday, we're putting doors in a car that didn't have doors. This isn't the way we normally do it, but for time frames, this car got sold while you were here a couple of days ago. Yep. You got here and you're leaving. You're leaving Saturday, but the container's leaving tomorrow. Um, so you, the customer wanted two doors. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and a lot of y'all out there have buckets that have no doors, and you probably might want a door. So we decided we're going to put doors in, and we did it like this. We bonded. Go ahead and why don't you tell them what we did. Yeah, so uh, as we did yesterday, we cut the wood, uh, moulded it, and then we glued it in here. Uh, before that, we made sure that the insert would fit which is uh, just like on the floor down there. That's the added strength that's going to go in after The finish. insert's a little wider than the wood. The, the sides are kind of curved a little bit. We wanted it to all fit down in there tight. We bonded it through. Is this the side door or the other side door? That side door. You have this side door? Yep. Uh, just in there. Okay, so we have this side door. And you can see the door, the door fits there, took and marked around the edges. And you can see that the body line is still on there, pretty nice. The oak wood is bonded on here, pretty nice. And we've got a door that fits with a, a good looking door jam. No, you know, it's good. A good the, seam. For the first time I've done one, I thought it would be a lot more stressful than it was. I, so no, it was good. I'm sure the. Well, you're in the Ozarks. Room. We don't stress in the Ozarks. No, no. <laughs> no, you. No. Your no. son and your brother-in-law they went fishing the other day, and uh, they were telling a story last night about the guide was putting a tie on a hook or something, and the boat hit a tree, and he yeah. was saying if one of them would have done it, they'd have been on the other one and going. And yeah, no, 
No stress at all. No stress here, so in Arkansas here. So. It's a lovely atmosphere to be working in. So we got the doors cut. We still want to put an insert in this. We want a battery box. So we, we have a battery box, and, and then everything on this one is going to be right hand drive as it's going to Australia. Trim that out, and the battery box will bond into that. So we'll have a battery box that you'll access through the seat. There's an access for your master cylinder right there. And we've taken the insert. Let's go ahead and throw that in there for me. Make sure that it fits. We'll take and mark it along the line here, cut that up out of there, bond it all in, pull it tight, bond it in, and then make a door jam with the area of the door jam would be a little wider. Make a, a nice door jam. I believe we're going to fiberglass over this. Yes. And then we can router it out and put your hinges on. Uh, the material. I brag on this all the time, but I bet if I had somebody else here and we could hold it up like this, one of us on each side, you could stand in the middle of that and this would not collapse. This is a very, very strong material. It's a, a plastic honeycomb in the middle. Bobble glass on the bottom, this would have been the bottom of the car. This is what you cut out for the battery box. And then this is the top of the, the car and the floor. So, great product, much better than, than plywood. So. This is what we use in the cars, and I don't know, you already said that uh, there's some issues in just shipping wood over there, so we better fumigate our wood before we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll fiberglass it all in and make sure it's done. So you got one day, this is just your last 1105, or you'll, you'll be here tomorrow at 1105? Yeah, I'll be here, but hopefully the container will be packed. And the I'll... container gets here at 8? Needs to be packed to 10. And then uh, I'll just be walking around watching you guys for a change. All right. We may may say some farewells on 11.05 or not tomorrow. So yeah. there's a lot of mates been watching. Oh, I've, that's good. I've that's been, good. somebody said yesterday about a, the territory or the town near your town. I don't know if you've seen that, but no. that was on, on our page anyway. So what, what do you got to add? What do you got to tell? No, that's about it. A really good product. Doesn't matter what what sort of modifications you need to suit the Australian uh, people's needs. We'll just go along and change things and modify it as we need to. So whether you want two doors, uh, one door, no door, right hand side, left hand side, we've just about got it all covered now. Steering column on either side. Yeah, we've got it mocked up, got jigs yeah. for that kind of stuff. We've done a lot of prototype work, really this week and that's even before you got here we figured out a little few things but that's good uh, even if somebody else needs some guidance now on fitting this sort of stuff I'm quite confident that uh, I've seen it done a few times and it should be mm -hmm. should be a good thing so now are you going to be a, a video guy I'm going to try and be a video guy <laughs> <laughs> we were we've been laughing about it not at you but just laughing about it the first time you were on video, you were locked up. Yes. I mean, it took like three minutes to get them to move <laughs> this much. So I, I was watching your arm movement there. You, you did more arm movement in about 30 seconds than you did on the whole first video. Okay, nice. And then you've been getting more and more. It's not that hard to do. And we're really, we're talking to our, our mates out here, our yeah. friends and family. No. So, no, so uh, it's good, yeah. If, if I can't handle the IT side of it, I've got young uh, sons or... That's what I do. <laughs> it's Josh. And, and, <laughs> yep. And my son and my son, we put the, the spreadsheet together. We'll make sure you get all that so we can get, get the different things done. Uh, so it's not that hard. Just put it together, do it. You want a door? I mean, we've been working on it two days. Yeah. Yesterday and today, and, and not really full time, but no. pretty consistent. You also made the bed. We talked about that a couple days ago. So that we'll install the bed cover on this. and. Um, right after this video, we'll get this thing glued in so we can move ahead. And, um, and it's just minor stuff from there when it gets back home. Yeah. Uh, the steering column in, that won't be a problem, and they try and hinge some doors. Yeah, oh, so we're in for a late nighter tonight? 
Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we're going to do the book. So your wife said she wants a couple books? Yeah, I'm going to find this up. Okay, on Amazon. I think they're on Amazon. Should be Ernie Gilcrease. Here's a, here's a scanner. You, you can scan that. Yeah. I may scan that and we, yeah. we may order some. See, anybody out there? You see there's the scan bar. You can do that. Ernie Gilcrease. One is called uh, Coffee Break Contemplations. And one is called Pass It On. So why don't you get us one from Coffee Break Contemplations. Got one here. One profits by giving gifts. The best use of wealth and happiness is sharing. All will profit who understand this truth. So yeah. So That's think, true. Yeah. Not about not about money, it's just about having a good time, enjoying the company that you keep. Yep. And and the week that I've spent here has just been that a wealth and I have, I have a saying similar to that one, the way mine goes is, we're blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. So, I, I'm, I'm a, we've never talked about faith, but may have to do that before you leave. <laughs> send, send the word back to Australia, but, uh, you know, we, my God takes care of us, but he blesses us so we can bless others. Yeah. It, this isn't just about getting, this isn't just about taking. We don't need to worry about what we get, because we'll get what we need. We just need to worry about being who we're supposed to be and who we made us to be. So, Okay, enough preaching. We're out, Rod, guys. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.